home of the brave, we have less press freedom than in Russia. Here's Jakari's report. Being placed on an airport watch list is something that happens all too often in our country. But what if you were placed on that watch list, not necessarily because of any religious or ethnic affiliation, but because you had affiliations with Al Qaeda? No, I'm not speaking about the CIA. The Muslim Brotherhood, which has been deemed a terrorist organization by the Egyptian government, has a free reign through our nation's airports. What do these God-fearing Americans think about this issue? Confident with airport security since 9-11? Absolutely. We've seen that the Muslim Brotherhood, a group that has links to Al Qaeda, has been able to bypass security screenings. Do you think that's okay that a known terrorist organization can bypass security screenings? <laughs> um, well, I'll tell you, Miss, that the Muslim Brotherhood, an organization that has links to Al Qaeda, has been able to bypass U.S. security, actually be waved through our security measures here in the States. Really? I didn't know that. What's your opinion on it? Well, my opinion is that when we have such stringent security, just like for people like you and myself, I flew recently, and I'm guessing that you went through the TSA checkpoint where you either had to get a body scan or a pat down or you know something along those lines. So if you, a non-terrorist, have to go through all these stringent measures just to get on the airplane, it, I find it very unheartening, disheartening that a terrorist group can... It's annoying to go through security. The way they scrutiny me, I, I see that it is really they, taking up. They, you say they scrutinized you? I mean, in terms of like checking everything, because I come with um, a passport, which is um, African passport, which I look like yes. some brothers or Muslim people. And to the, if anybody who's listening out there, you know, any heads of state or any people in the Justice Department, Defense Department are watching this right now, what would you like to say to them if you're concerned about your security? I would just wish that they would change the way that they do things and make the everyone go through the same ritual that we all do. I know you guys are filming right now, so I'd appreciate it if you didn't. Would you well, I mean, well, sir, we we film all of our encounters. If you want to talk to me, I'll be happy to talk to you. Well, okay. I'm just. Well, how about you come over here? What's your name? Uh, if he doesn't want to identify himself, so I'm Jakari Jackson. You. Okay. I'll, I'll talk to okay, you. Okay, well, that's fine. We could talk. I'm the airport operations person, and the thing is, you guys are out here filming, and it's a business thing. Somebody gets hurt, you're not permitted, you haven't proven to us insurance and so forth, and so it becomes a liability for us once I see you guys out here, okay? And so that's why I come over ask you guys, hey, what are you doing? You know, all that good stuff. Have you guys gone through the process like we've asked you to go through several times before? I've actually been here with you before asking you if you've done that, and so you're telling me you're not, you haven't done that. I'll tell you my situation, sir. You know, I got a, I got a producer, and he says, you know, we want to we want to shoot something. We want to shoot it quick. So just go out to the airport. So we come out to the airport. We're not in a, any secure area that I'm aware of. We're not a, shooting up by the TSA. We're out here, you know, we're talking to people as they want to talk to us. They don't want to talk to us. We say, that's fine. We go about our business. So, you know, we're not interfering with anything. And, and I understand what you say uh, with uh, the gentleman, Jason. Jason and I And I sent the guy, and I sent him, sent him an email as soon as I found out that I was coming here, mm -hmm. informing him of the situation. You know, I'm sure that wouldn't be enough time to get a packet together. So, you know, I at least try to do my due diligence and inform him. All right, so uh, just to be sure, the First Amendment doesn't apply to an airport. That's not what I said. But, you know, First Amendment's the right of the press. And I'm, I'm sure you know that. So, but basically, well, I mean, where are we at? So you're asking us to leave, but you, but we still have our First Amendment right. That's correct. We'll just call it quits here, and I'll uh, ask you guys to leave unless you have further business with the city of Austin. Okay. So, uh, just, just so I'm clear, sir, mm -hmm. that because we didn't fill out, you know, a piece of paper to come out here, uh, we, you're saying basically we can't film this location. That's correct. That's exactly what I'm telling you. Yeah, I really am a big fan, guys. So. All right. We're outside the Austin airport, having been asked to leave by the security here. It seems that the security force is more concerned about journalists with cameras than they are about the Muslim Brotherhood being waived through TSA checkpoint security. Now, I want to be very clear with our viewers that when I speak about the Muslim Brotherhood, I'm talking about a specific militant al-Qaeda linked group that the Egyptian government has deemed to be a terrorist organization. I am not speaking about Muslims in general. So we came here today to educate the people and let them know that the pat downs and the body scanners and all the things that they have to go through are not required for known terrorist groups. We were encountered by a security agent for the airport. He told us that, hey, you guys need a permit to film here. And I tried to meet the guy halfway. I told him that we had contacted their PIO and at least informed them of our presence. We didn't ask permission, but we at least told them that we were coming. He said, sir, that's not good enough. You need a permit. 
I said, well, sir, in the United States of America, don't we have a First Amendment? He says, yes, sir, you do have a First Amendment, but that needs to be accompanied by a permit. You can find more reports at InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Looking to protect my family, I've done deep research. Nascent iodine is the purest, cleanest, absolute best form of iodine to protect yourself and your family. It's made right here in the USA, completely non-GMO. I searched out the best quality and now have developed a double strength form of nascent iodine, exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Nascent iodine is on record as one of the only safe ways to detox from fluoride poisoning. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. And the InfoWars Army is standing strong. Wake up your family, friends, and neighbors and break the matrix at InfoWarsStore.com. Learn the truth and spread the message of liberty with the world's most comprehensive collection of books and documentary films. Maintain a healthy metabolism and energize your body to perform at peak health with Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Protect your family and be prepared with survival foods and emergency preparedness kits. And now you can drink safe water with your own ProPure water filtration system, which removes fluoride and other harmful chemicals from your family's water supply. Save 10% with the promo code WATER. So join the revolution, InfoWarsStore.com. Well, in an absolute abuse of power, the TSA has threatened a man with putting him on a government list unless he takes down his parody video from YouTube. That man is Telly Blackwood. He's the producer of Off the Hook Television. You may recall he had a, another one of his videos that ruffled the feathers of Michael Moore, who removed his site from YouTube. Well, he produced this video for the InfoWars film contest, and the TSA agent called him on the phone to say, explain this video to me. What's the purpose of this video? And he was noticeably offended by the video's comparison of the TSA employees to the Nazi Gestapo. <laughs> Telly Blackwood, that is the most hilarious phone exchange between uh, Mr. Blackwood and the <laughs> TSA agent. He really sticks it to him. You've got to go check that out. It's on InfoWars.com. We have that video there. But to kick off this random selection of submissions for our latest film contest, here is Off the Hook Television's production called TSA Touched My TNA. Insight to hurry, I'm late. Kinda worried, strolled to the TSA gate where things got blurry. That's when the fat man took my hand and he led me to a place and he said, here you must stand. Then he started to explain everything will be all right if I just give it fight and I gave up my rights. As he pats me down, I say, Mr. TSA, you do this every day, that's how you make your pay. You're supposed to check for bombs and guns, not grow for dumbs and buns. And I feel I want to run, told him I'd tell everyone. That's when the agent grabbed his gun, said, I'm not done having fun. Would you believe that he put me on my knees, gave my touch another squeeze? <laughs> You are also reminded that any inappropriate remarks or jokes concerning security may result in your arrest. We appreciate your cooperation. I work for TSA, where every day is hump day. God work is great when you get to violate people's bodies and their rights. A girl's dress is kind of tight. I bet that I can get her outed if I says she has a knife. Michael Moore's back for more. Bumping Macklemore. Talking gay rights and gun rights. I think I'll search his back door. It's the most love he's gotten in a while. I smile when I profile. the 5 c 
I don't care if he's in a wheelchair, stand him up. Hello, I'm Richard Reed. You can call me Dick. Are you having trouble finding a job without a diploma or GED? Are you an unemployed, defrocked priest? Do you enjoy making children cry? Have you ever wanted to take an old man's pants off in public? Or are you simply tired of jobs that require you to think? If you answered yes to any of those questions, then we here at TSA may have the exciting new career opportunity that you've been waiting for. Can you sit up? Sit up. Slam to the floor. But if you touch my junk, I'm gonna have you arrested. With a base salary of $15 an hour, our employees enjoy perks you won't find anywhere else. Naps, half hour long bathroom breaks, and little to no supervision whatsoever. Plus, all the free water, shampoo, and grandma's applesauce you can handle. At TSA, we're dedicated to America and Americans. And in 10 plus years, we haven't caught a single terrorist. With a 0% success rate, we have nowhere to go but up. Help us help you. Apply online at www.infowars.com today. TSA, fondling millions of genitals every day. For your safety. So, where you headed? Bah! Home for the holidays? Bah! Are you carrying anything illegal on your, uh, person? Bah! Did you pack your own bags? Bah! Are you traveling alone? Bah! Okay, let's have a look inside your bag here. An MC3 player, uh, magazines. Hmm. And is this yours? Bah! What a freak! Bah! Yeah, yeah. What's this? An Alex Jones DVD from Infowars.com. Bah! Are you some kind of a terrorist? Millions of people from all walks of life suffer from extreme loneliness. Desperate for someone, anyone, to listen to them. And more importantly, to understand them. That's why we at the National Security Agency have made a sworn promise that no American will ever feel alone again and will always be heard and seen, no matter what. Whether on your cell phone, your personal computer, or a variety of smart appliances, we'll always be there for you, taking in everything you say and do, 24-7, 365 days a year, including holidays. And even though we may never respond directly, you can be rest assured that we are listening. That's the NSA guarantee. How are you doing today? We'll ask the questions around here, Mr. Domestic Terrorist. Hey, do you own any guns? Yes. Racist. That is so racist. FEMA camp. What, so I can't go through then? Oh, no, no. We want you to go through. Yeah, we got a x-ray and a pat-down waiting for you. Hey, this is against the Fourth Amendment. No, it isn't. No, it's not, because Al-Qaeda might be hiding up your butt. We gotta search. We gotta search your racist butt. We gotta search. It's for your safety, racist. You're just lucky that we haven't installed our detention pods at this here airport yet, or we would capture your racist Al-Qaeda hiding domestic terrorist butt. Pat down. Have a nice flight. Hey. Hey. While our latest film contest, We Will Resist, TSA and NSA Tyranny is wrapping up, we're going through the submissions now, carefully going through all of them. And just because we played your video doesn't mean you're going to win. And same if we didn't play your video, it doesn't mean you're not still being considered. 
So just stay tuned to the InfoWars media outlets and we'll, we'll give you all the updates on the film contest 